So in a number of different contexts, we're going to be using PPFs and social indifference curves. Now, we've had a video about individual indifference curves. The social indifference curve is really a way of looking at the trade-offs at the, at the entire society's level um, in, the, in tr uh, the, the trade-offs between consumption of two goods. Now, we can use this social indifference curve in the PPF and the neoclassical framework to depict both the uh, autarky situation and also a trade situation. So let's start out uh, with autarky. So we've got this PPF, bowed out, neoclassical uh, PPF, and we've talked about the trade-offs between the two, uh, two goods on the production side. So in autarky, how is it that we determine how much to... Um, how much to produce? Well, it's going to depend on what the demand uh, side of the economy wants. So supply and demand need to be equal across uh, the, two, the two sectors. So here, let me uh, draw this and then I'll uh, give you uh, some intuition. So here is a social indifference curve, and I've got this tangent to the PPF. Now, implicitly, we've got a number of other uh, indifference curves, as in the social indifference curves, a whole family of indifference curves that are, um, are not, I'm not going to draw here because it, it will get uh, a, a bit cluttered. But what you see here, this is the highest level of social welfare, highest social indifference curve that can be reached given the resources of the economy that we're analyzing. We have this tangency where the indifference curve is tangent to the PPF. So let's think about this point A. So at point A, the slope of the indifference curve, the social indifference curve, is equal to the slope of the PPF. Okay, so just geometrically that, that is true. But if we sort of unpack that, we can see some of the relationships that you know from a, a standard uh, introductory micro course. So we have the slope of the indifference curve, as I've talked about before, can be thought of as the marginal utility of X compared to the marginal utility of Y. And the slope of the PPF is the marginal cost of X compared to the marginal cost of Y. So what you have here is that the trade-off in utility of consumers is just equal to the trade-offs in production costs on the output side. Now, we've also talked about how a price, a relative price of X, equal to the ratio of the marginal costs, is another way of saying that you've got a competitive outcome. Price equal to marginal cost in both industries, and we've talked about on the indifference curve side that the price of X over the price of Y equal to the ratio of the margin utilities is the same thing as, as uh, saying that, that um, consumers base their demand on, um, on uh, marginal benefit equal to marginal cost. And so we have here in this, de in this depiction is that firms will choose output based on price equal to marginal cost, okay, the competitive outcome. It's basically a supply curve over here. And this is the general equilibrium counterpart to demand curves. So we've got price of X is equal to the marginal utility of X is equal to the marginal cost of X. Okay, The price of Y equal to the marginal utility of Y equal to the marginal cost of producing Y. 
So this is supply equal to demand for both markets at that point. And we have this depiction when we've got a price line whose slope is the relative price. So if the relative price of X is the slope of that line, that will be a signal for firms to produce that amount of Y and that amount of X, and that's exactly the combination that is going to be demanded by consumers. So this depiction really is simply supply equal to demand in both markets. It's as simple as that. Okay? Um, so, that's the autarky situation using indifference curves and a uh, production uh, possibility frontier in a neoclassical framework.